So I'm laying there. I'm laying there. I probably should not tell this story, but I'm going to do one too anyway. So I'm laying there and I have the devotional and I'm just, you know, like I'm reading it. And I realize I'm like reading it super fast, which I read super fast anyway, but I'm just like reading it. Okay, reflect. All right, got it. Reflect. All right. And then I switch to like the, the scriptures. And I'm reading the scripture. Yes, 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 yes. And then you know how the Bible app, you can go to the next one. Okay, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, that's a nice one. Highlight. Then I go to the next one. Highlight. Great. Hmm. Done. All right. And I'm trying to just pray after, you know, after my devotional. So I'll just lay there and close my eyes. Sometimes I put my sleep mask on because I have my eyes open and I'm like looking around the room and I start thinking about other things and I go, oh, I close my eyes. So I put my sleep mask on, right? And I'm laying there with my sleep mask. And I start praying, and I'm just praying, and then I get, I get a couple sentences in, and I'm thinking at the same time of like, okay, wrap this up because I want to get on Facebook and I want to go through like reels oh, until Jared wakes up. And then I was like, no, 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 no. And then I get back to praying, and then a couple seconds later, I would just hurry up, Facebook reels, you know. And I finally am like, who am I kidding? He literally knows what I'm thinking. And I was like, bro, I'm sorry. Like, I obviously am. And it was such a moment because I'm like, who are you trying to fake out by, you know, you're doing that. And so I just stopped praying. I'm like, I'm sorry. I literally can. And no, I did not get on Facebook and look at the reels. I got up, let the dogs out, made coffee for you, your royalness. And, you know, started breakfast and started getting the kids. But my point is, you know, we're not faking them out by doing these things that I thought I would be, I was, you know, faking them out by checking off my my prayer. And I'm like, what am I doing? And I was like, and I literally said in my head, I'm sorry. (laughs) And actually, I said, I'm sorry, bro. I was like, I, (laughs) my dude, I just realized you're just sitting there being like, I know what you're thinking and I know what you're trying to get to. This isn't working. Stop it. <laughs> so I just, I just, I said, stop it. But, um, or he said, stop it. And I said, okay. So <laughs> I guess that's my point being is he knows I'll go this way with what I'm thinking about. And then I realized like, oh, I'm not praying anymore. You know, so what I've has helped me and actually the last week is I've tried as I'm just walking somewhere, walking in the bathroom, I am trying to just say, hey, thank you for these floors. You know, I'm like, thank you, God, for today. And sometimes I literally repeat, thank you, God, for today seven times because I don't know what else to say, you know. And that has helped me with literally just, I've learned that I can't do long prayers. I can't go in a prayer closet. So it's like what works for me is short little interbursts, like short it's, little I, I, intervals. And not, and that's the thing. I think a lot of people need to get to with their prayers being like gratitude and then realizing it doesn't have to be this 30 minute, three hour session in a closet with soft music. Minutes. It can <laughs> be in the car driving around. It can be five short sentences, yep. just talking to God. Um, and like that, like God is our best friend. Like he's, he's your friend. He's your father. You should talk to him like one. Uh, we approach God. And so many people approach God in different ways and almost like he's going to be angry with what we are bringing to him or, mm. you know, disappointed. And like that, like he already knows your thoughts. 